YouTube, this is uh, part three of the Kennedy Tool Chest with the Starrett Tools, and we're going to take a look at a drawer or two and uh, see what other goodies we have. Um, so, a bunch of Starrett Tools here. Um, let's just take a look. Uh, that is a level. Okay. And uh, I'm sure that works with something else. And then in here we've got these taper gauges. Uh, 269A and 269B. So let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, taper gauge. This is a 269A and uh, it's in a little pouch here. And so it's a series of uh, pieces of steel at different thicknesses and it's marked and I'm sure that these blades are tapered and you slide up to a certain amount adding them together this is a, a tenth of an inch to a half inch. No, that's wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Anybody, feel free to uh, feel free to pipe in anything you know. So that is the uh, that's the 269A, the 269B. Oh, I bet you the taper goes this way. Yeah, that's what it is. The, 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 so yeah, they taper, but they taper like this, not in thicknesses. So that is a tenth to a half. This is a half inch to one inch. Okay. And, oh, there's another 269B. 269B. So there's another one. But uh, it's a different package here. Maybe maybe this is a little older. Okay. Oh, and here's another 269A. Again, in the older packaging. Okay. And let's see what we got in here. This is Sterrett. I can barely read it. Two four two three. Let's see what this is. Okay, this looks like it has some gauges on it, and there's a tool here. That'll be an interesting one to look up to see how that works. It looks like maybe you set them in the side there, but that'll be a fun one to look up. Okay, and uh, I looked, I did look this up because I'm like, what is this? And this is part of a trammel set, and apparently it's got hardened pointers on it. And you can use it to measure or draw circles. Um, but uh, so far I haven't found the other pieces. These are the only pieces I found. It's a pretty expensive set with all the pieces. It's over $200 from Starrett. Okay. And then we've got uh, here. This is the, the small hole gauge. This is uh, 829B. Um, and from what I can identify here is, is this has got a split and a threaded rod and when you tighten or loosen this it changes the dimensions here so you tighten this in your hole you tighten this up to the size then you take it out then you can put your micrometer on there to get very precise inside measurements so that's that drawer and uh, let's go one more and see what we've got here so it looks like we got a couple more sharpening stones can't read it. it. Says something about Arkansas there. And we have another sharpening stone, oil filled. Uh, Bear Manning Division. And then there's some instructions there. Uh, some various ball bearings. Uh, another piece of work. A really pretty steel here. Uh, maybe that's stainless. I'll bring out a magnet here and we'll check. Um, so up up top here we have these, um, the, this is a way to measure uh, threads. And this is a, another way to do it using these thread measuring wires. And uh, uh, watching Tublicane videos, if you notice there's three of every size. And uh, you use these three wires and a micrometer uh, pretty complex. Again, I'll link to Tublicane's video because he explains it way better than I could. 
And then also there's, I don't know what this is, this may be a chart. For 60 degree threads, it's a chart. Okay. What else we got in here? We got this thing, which I don't really understand what it does. So if somebody want to let me know. It does have a brand name on it. Um, I don't know if I can read it. Helios, made in Germany. And there may be a part number. Well, it's inscribed with RL. I don't know what that means. Okay. And then the last thing here. What do we have here? It's a 10,000th whole location in one minute. Oh, okay. So I know that you, this is like a center finder or a hole finder. You put this in the, uh, the mill or the lathe, and then when it bumps up, uh, that you can use this for precise uh, a drilling of holes. So that's a hole locator. Anyway, guys, that's it for video three. I want to thank you very much for watching, and look forward. We'll be going through the other drawers in future videos.